If you're looking at a train controller and say you want to lock out a compressor or a circuit or something of that nature on the chiller series specifically, what you can do is you can come over here to the service test menu. You will cycle over. You'll have the pump downs, the EXV tests, then you'll have compressor tests. Then you'll see circuit lockout, circuit one, and circuit two. Now the verbiage is a little confusing on this, so I want to make it very clear. If it says circuit one, unlock, that means that is unlocked. If you press the plus button and it changes to lockout, then that will lock out that circuit to where it is non-operational. You would hit enter. If you don't hit enter, one, it, it's going to give you a warning, but if you didn't want to accept that change, you can always hit cancel. Regardless, make your selection. Lockout means it's going to lock it out, and then you would just hit enter and keep moving on now once you lock it out you come back over here to the chiller report cycle over you'll see circuits locked out circuit one you can always come back over here to circuit or service test again cycle over to lock out change back to unlock enter and then we'll come back to the chiller report and we see cir no, no circuits are locked out where this becomes useful is whenever you're doing PMs or you're doing service testing or anything of that nature in this particular case we needed to lock out a circuit due to a compressor issue that's the proper way of locking circuits out on this particular controller and the in, in, on this train interface now some of the newer interfaces have a different layout but it's the same basic functions just maybe a different kind of look on the menu you'll have the 530 display on those particular cases and such so hope this helps appreciate it